Good morning, everyone. Ron here, Precision Sales, doing a walk around of a beautiful mainsail for a Tanzer 22. Uh, this is made from our Precision 300 series Dacron. It's got two full battens, two partial battens, one reef point, and a beautiful custom insignia. Uh, let's take a quick uh, walk around. Why don't we start uh, here, and I'll show you what your sail is going to come with and, and in. Um, we've got because there's a couple full battens. Uh, they're a bit longer, so those are coiled, and they're zap strapped. And then we put, uh, typically, we put some uh, shrink wrap around them as well, just to make sure they don't uncoil. And then uh, here's your bag that the sail will come in, as well as a sail tie that I've kind of got coiled up there a little bit. So let's uh, let's take a look at this beautiful sail. Again, this is for a Tanzer 22. It's their Precision 300 series Dacron. This is our kind of most economical. Excellent choice for smaller boats, uh, northern climates, uh, light use, that kind of thing, uh, up at the cabin, up at the cottage, um, weekend warrior stuff. Really, really nice, good price point. And we uh, do not scrimp in any of the features here. So uh, here we're starting down on the tack. You can see the well uh, webbed on tack ring, nice reinforcements there. And then you can also see the Cunningham. It also has its own set of reinforcements. Very well designed. Just walk down the foot here briefly. Come down to the clue end. Now the clue comes with a couple of things. Again, all the nice reinforcements, of course. And then there's a Velcro strap as well as a clue slug. The clue slug will slide down the track in your boom. The Velcro strap, not needed for everyday sailing. However, if you do want to uh, Get out in some heavier winds, that strap will give you a little peace of mind and take a little bit of pressure off the boom or off the clue slug at the boom and ensure that uh, you don't cause any damage uh, or that clue slug doesn't pop out or do anything weird and wonderful. So that was the reef point there. We've got a couple partial uh, battens with tie in batten receptacles and then beautiful, beautiful custom logo livehere.ca with live communities. Very nicely done. Really well done there. And here's the, the full battens with tie-in batten configuration. Uh, I do have another video uh, on how the tie-in batten kind of goes together. Um, if you want to take a look at that, it's in the playlist uh, with design features. And we'll just kind of keep walking up here. Nice little head plate. Remember this is a 22 foot boat. So the head plate is uh, quite nice, riveted on, alloy. And we'll just stop here at one of the full battens. This is the top one. Um, and what we do is we have these Bainbridge batten receptacles that are bolted through the sail. And the batten's going to slide into that, so you've got something to push against. Give really nice tension on those sails, especially in light winds. So we'll just stop at one of the sliders here and take a look at how we web these on. Uh, notice the, the reinforcements with the Dacron, and then you've got grommets go through. Hopefully you can see that, but there's a piece of vinyl, clear vinyl, that goes uh, around there, and that stops any chafing or anything like that. And then the, the webbing goes through the grommet, and then it's a uh, figure eight knot is what we call that, a figure eight stitch. And that makes sure that that slider doesn't change position on you. When that slider starts moving around, is when you start to get problems with jamming and that kind of stuff. So, so there you go, guys. This is a fantastic example of a Tanzer 22 uh, mainsail made of our Precision 300 series uh, Dacrons. And uh, this one has the custom logo for uh, Live Communities, livehere.ca. Uh, really a beautiful, beautiful sail. If you're interested in either a Tanzer 22 sail or custom logos like this, uh, please click the link below and uh, fill out a quote request and I'll be more than happy to walk you through the process.